Hi, my name is Oljai and welcome to our video on best practices for deploying Moodle on Azure Database for MySQL. Whether you are a developer, working for a small business, or even in education or government. Today, we'll show you how easy it is to bring your online learning platform to the life using Moodle on Azure. Let's get started. Moodle is one of the world's leading open source learning management systems. It powers millions of learning environments worldwide, and it is highly customizable. Whether you are delivering online courses, assessments, or collaborative learning, Moodle is a flexible and powerful platform to meet your needs. It is also one of the most mature and robust LMS applications that the community has developed and improvised over the years. We have seen customers from small, medium, and large enterprises to schools, public sectors, and governments, organizations developing Moodle in Azure. With Azure Database MySQL, you can enhance Moodle's performance, scalability, and security, making it ideal choice for your organization. Now, let's dive into how you can deploy Moodle in Azure, along with MySQL database instance, in just a few clicks. If you have an Azure account, you can deploy Moodle via Azure portal using the buttons provided in the GitHub. There are four pre-configured options designed for various needs, ranging from small deployments or test environments to handling thousands of concurrent users. All configurations are fixed. You just need to pass your SSH public key to the template and then hit review plus create to start the deployment process. Let's first create our SSH key in the Azure portal and then deploy our module in Azure. Type SSH in the search bar and then click SSH keys. To create a new SSH key, first click create. Once the visit is open, choose your subscription and then create a new resource group. Then write your resource group name. This resource group will be used to create module later on. To proceed, select a region from the drop-down menu. I recommend choosing a region as close as possible to your location. Next, name your SSH key and then click Review plus Create. Once everything is checked, then you can begin creating your SSH key. Open your SSH key and your public key is located over here. Copy this key and now let's head back to our deployment wizard. Now you are ready to deploy Moodle on Azure. To proceed, paste your SSH key to the related fields and then start deploying Moodle on Azure by clicking Review plus Create. In less than 10 minutes, you can have your learning platform up and running. For production deployments, it is highly recommended to use the large size or maximum template, which will provision high performance skew and configure the environment for high availability. To understand the resources better, each version of the template deploys the following architecture in Azure. Moodle is hosted on a set of virtual machines. By using Azure Virtual Machine scale sets, additional virtual machines are provisioned and added to the load balancer based on the usage, optimizing performance and cost. In the large template, a separate set of virtual machines provided a high available GlusterFS based file system for storage. Moodle supports multiple databases, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server. However, MySQL is a great choice for performance and scalability. Particularly when deploying Moodle for large unconcurrent users, this makes MySQL preferred option for customers and Moodle community in such scenarios. The deployment templates use Azure Database for MySQL Flexible Server, a fully managed database service with features such as high availability, elastic scaling, and automatic backups. Leveraging a managed service ensures that you don't have to worry about managing your database for backups and high availability or even setting up additional database monitoring. When provisioning Azure Database for MySQL, Flexible Server for Moodle deployments, consider the information in the following table, which identifies the recommended tier for the best price performance ratios based on your scenario. For minimal deployment, it is recommended to use at least eight V cores. This is perfect for small test environments or individual use. For small to mid size, it is recommended to select at least 16 V cores. It is ideal for schools or small businesses. For large size deployment, it is suited for universities or medium enterprises with a growing number of students. Therefore, use at least 32 V cores. For maximum deployment, it is designed for large organizations or government entities that need high availability and performance at scale. It is recommended to select compute size 32 or 64 V cores. 
Azure provides flexible scaling options so you can easily adjust your usage growth. From your settings, you can adjust your compute and storage according to your needs. Azure Database for MySQL supports a compute size from 1 v up to the maximum 96 v -cores. In all compute tiers, the minimum storage supported is 20 GB and the maximum is 32 TB in business critical and 16 TB for other workloads. You can independently tune instance and SKU sizing, storage sizing and the I/O operation per second configuration for your Moodle workloads to meet your end user needs. Now, let's open our application. Let's first go to our resources and scroll down to the load balancer. Open it. And then on your left menu, click the front-end IP configuration settings. If we enter this IP address into our browser, we are taken to the default Moodle homepage. Thanks to the template provided by Azure, we can focus on creating a first-class learning experience in less than 10 minutes. To log in our application, you need an admin password. All password and other main outputs are stored in the deployment section. Go to your deployments and locate the main templates. Your Moodle admin password is located over here. Copy your password and paste it to the login screen. Then you can log into your application. Congratulations! You can now set up and start using Moodle, your favorite open source LMS application. Now, our LMS application is live. Let's take a look at, at the MySQL database, one of the key resources that supports Moodle. In our resources, locate MySQL Flex server and open it. Azure Database for MySQL is managed version of open source MySQL, reducing operational overhead and providing a familiar experience for database administrations. From the server parameters, experienced administrators can adjust wide range of key MySQL settings. Server parameter, configuration, and other considerations are also important to ensure the best performance of Moodle application. Ensure table open cache parameters to be set to 1 megabyte. Ensure that the slow query log parameter is set to off. Otherwise, it may cause additional I/O operation overhead to slow down the server for scenarios with high number of concurrent users. If the number of temporary tables is more than about 5% of the total, then increase the value of the temp table size parameter until you see the reduction. For additional information, please visit the official documentation. The following are MySQL specific settings, which can be adjusted for better performance. Before we wrap up, it is worth mentioning the Azure database for MySQL also supports other powerful open source platforms like Magento and Drupal. If you are running an e-commerce site, Magento on Azure can give you the scalability and performance you need for Azure Online Store. Azure helps you handle high traffic volumes, manage complex product catalogs, and ensure seamless customer experiences, all while integrating with MySQL database. Microsoft has also one-click template to deploy Magento 2. More details will be including in an upcoming later video. For those focused on content management and building dynamic websites, Drupal is another popular choice. By deploying Drupal on Azure, you can get the flexibility and power of Drupal combined with the security, scalability, and performance of Azure database for MySQL, making it ideal solution for websites of any scale. Whether you are managing an e-learning platform like Moodle, an e-commerce site with Magento, or a content-driven website using Drupal, Azure Database for MySQL has the right tools to support your growth. And that's it. It's just a few seconds you can have your Moodle up and running on Azure, backed by the power of Azure Database for MySQL. This setup ensures your learning environment is secure, scalable, and optimized for performance. If you have any questions or need further assistance, check out the official documentation or reach to us. Thanks for watching and good luck with your model deployment in Azure. See you in another Azure MySQL video series.